If you or someone you know has diabetes, you may have built up an extra supply of test strips and lancets. That's where we come in. We'll buy the supplies that you don't need and resell them to those in need to prevent waste. Help us make diabetes management more affordable. Visit us at teststripswithaz.com. All right, we have Alejandro Lara on the show. She returns to action December 20th, takes on Veda Ortega at Bellator 235. Salute to the troops in Hawaii. How are you, Alejandra? Good, good. How are you? I'm doing great. It is great to have you here. How has everything been going in this camp? I know prior to your fight with Taylor Turner, you had talked about doing a lot of traveling to different places to, to get some different looks in preparation for that fight. Has it been similar this time around as well? Um, yeah. I felt after that that fight, it was a really short fight. So, so I felt that that uh, people don't actually see all of my, of my game or my style because I know I've changed a, a lot everything, and I know I've improved in in every area, and um, I have the the time because you know I I was traveling. Uh, the three from the all of this year and doing different things and here in in Lobo with my head coach we were we were uh um, like uh cleaning uh the the details and working in uh the movements and i i know it was uh a uh, very good time for, for preparing me, and I feel very, very good prepared this time. That performance against Taylor was was very impressive. You got the finish in the first round with some with some vicious ground and pound. You opened up a lot of eyes with, with your attire and the statement you made at the weigh-ins as well. How did it all feel to, to go out there, make that statement in and out of the cage back in August, especially coming off of back-to-back losses? <laughs> uh I wasn't uh, really surprised. It was what I was working for, and all what wh- all my game plan. It was what happened in the fight. In, in the fight, so uh, I was very very happy, and I feel it was great that it happened like that because actually I feel that for that fight I have the uh, surprise factor <laughs> because no one. Uh, have seen yet uh, all the the changes in my style with my striking and everything. So, so yeah, it was awesome to to finish that that fight like that. I was uh, need I, I need to prove that I was in a bigger level and that I needed a uh, a bigger. Um, <laughs> I just forget how to say it in English. Sorry. But yeah, that, you understand. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean, you you wanted to prove you were at the, the the top of the division. You belonged in the in that discussion with the yeah. upper echelon. Yeah, yeah. And now you get Veda Ortega in a little less than two weeks, and she gave Alimalea McFarlane everything she could handle back in April. Personally, I think this is excellent matchmaking. I think this is the perfect fight to make it 125 pounds. Do you agree with that? Yeah, of course. I feel it. Uh, my division and I feel this is a great match for me actually because we we both were in in the uh, contend for the title so it's great. What did you make of her performance against Ali Malay? Did you learn a lot in that fight about Veda and about the champion as well? Yeah for sure because you know it was my second professional international fight and I know the lack of experience it was a a uh, big deal in, for for that fight, and and now I know I'm a different fighter, but you know having that opportunity to face the um, harder girls in the divisions, uh, make me watch and and push me to to be in in that level. So I I'm not afraid to face anyone now. This will be the the second time you fight in Hawaii with Bellator. The first one was last year, you had that really close fight with Juliana Velasquez that you were on the wrong end of. How excited are you to to get back to a beautiful place like Hawaii and and get back in the cage and and try to right that wrong? <laughs> yeah, uh, first of all, you know, 
who doesn't want to go to Hawaii? And <laughs> it's, it's awesome to have that opportunity again and more, more because, yeah, that was a, a very close, close fight and the, the response from the people, it was awesome. When I walk out of the cage uh, after the fight, Everyone was uh, taking pictures and watching the children's face, the, the girls who were taking pictures with me. That That's something that fulfills the, the, the heart. And uh, I I think that that's an awesome part of being a fighter and and show that you, you can be yourself. And even if you lose, if you give everything for you, you, you can be good with, with the result. And yeah. I love being fighting in Hawaii again. I, f- I feel like the, the fans in Hawaii, they, they're like true students of the game. Like they know what they're watching. Um, they, they get the sport more than a lot of other people will. W- would you agree with that? I mean, you've, you've been fighting all over the place. You just fought in Connecticut, fighting in Hawaii. You know, the fans, they, they know what they're watching. Would you agree with that? Yeah, I agree with that. I don't really care in in what place I'm fighting, I I'm just gonna give everything of myself in in every fight. But obviously, uh, <laughs> yeah, that that it's more important after the fight <laughs> when I'm gonna be for for celebrating my fight. That's awesome. <laughs> I know, I know you're not a big trash talker. You're not a huge proponent of of making predictions or anything like that, but. How do you visualize this all playing out on December 20th between you and Veda? Um, I know that it's going to be uh, very intense because her style is it's like that. So it, uh, that always going forward and a lot of, of pressure. And I, I feel that that's great because we're going to give a, a great show to, to people. And I feel really strong and powerful to take that fight to to my game and I think that's gonna happen in in yeah, I, I would like to to use my my wrestling and my jiu jitsu and my ground and pound most of all. But also I, I feel prepared for, for the, the the striking and to get some punches. <laughs> Do you have anything in mind for for the weigh-ins? I'm sure you've been asked about this at nauseum at this point, but uh, but personally, I, I I would like to know. You you made a you, you had a great showing at the weigh-ins back in August in Connecticut. A lot of people were talking about the, you know the the protesting of the the deforestation in, in the Amazon. Do you have anything else in store for us in a little less than two weeks when you head to Hawaii? Uh, I just have to say that that kind of things. It's like when I go out dancing. It's something that I don't really plan a lot. It's just something that comes to my head and I say, okay, I will use some makeup and <laughs> that's it. <laughs> uh, I don't know, really. Uh, no, no, it's not going to be so so uh, strong like the, the last time because, uh, you know, it was like the, the perfect moment to and some things, and I I knew that the message have to be more uh, specific for for people to understand it. But now, yeah, it's something a little bit uh, less, uh, yeah, <laughs> less strong. I don't know. Last question for me. The the division is, is really interesting right now. You get Alima Lay getting ready to fight Kate Jackson. Juliana Velasquez is fighting Bruna Allen the night after your fight. Many feel like she should be fighting for the belt right now, but do you feel like you can jump to the top of that list with a great performance against Veda Ortega on the 20th to, to get that rematch? Yeah, I think uh, I can do it. And I know Bellator love my, my, my work. And I love being being working with them, and people uh, will will ask for that fight. And I know it's it's something that that it can happen. And I believe in in myself, and I I believe that yeah, that that's a big possibility to to be in, in the top. And yeah. Alejandra Lara getting ready to take on Veda Ortega. What kind of surprises will she have for us on December 20th at Bellator 235? You're going to have to tune in and watch the fight. Thank you, Alejandra, for the time. I appreciate it. All the best to you for the rest of this camp and in the fight itself. Thank you for having me.